Butler's day is especially tough for a couple in Plattsmouth. It's the first since losing their teenage son in August. The police rule, ruled Aaron Moorhead's death an accident. His family opened an outreach center to save other young lives. They've already made such a difference in the last year that they need more room. KATV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl is live with this new story. In Brandy, it began as a place to grieve. Now it's a Sunday tradition, something teenagers actually look forward to. The Moorhead family says it's just proof how desperately Plattsmith needed this. And now they say they need a new building. With its pool tables and basketball hoops, this place looks like a typical teen center. You know everybody's name, you know what everybody is up to. But six other days a week, this is a shop, a place of business for Joseph and Shauna Moorhead. On Sunday, we clean it up and clean it out and let them come in and do their thing. An idea that came to the Moorheads after losing their son, Aaron, determined to keep his friends together and keep loneliness away. They call me mom. <laughs> they call him dad. <laughs> I have several kids now. <laughs> so for months, this is where their organization, Cass County Lighthouse for Change, has hosted weekly family nights. And for a while, it worked. Then they grew. They feel involved and they feel like this is really their place. And I, I don't know how to explain it. It just seems to keep growing. Growing into a place for family dinners, celebrating holidays together. Now, spending Father's Day here. I miss him a lot today. I miss him every day, but some days more than others. But the community is embracing the Moorheads in return, signing this Father's Day card for Joseph. Because this is more than a weekly get together, they've become family. When the kids are around, it's a little bit of normal. So now, as their current space starts to overflow, they hope soon they'll find a new one. One just for the kids and community, and they hope you'll help. In the process of getting funds together to move into a different building and expand into other areas, such as. And the Moorheads hope to expand into the old St. John's building in Plattsmouth, but they don't have the funds to do that just yet. So they're organizing a poker ride this Saturday and collecting online donations. For information on either of those things, you can go to KETV.com. Back to you. Christina, thanks. Another rough Father's Day for an Omaha family.